The Shure SM58 has been the world's most popular vocal microphone for decades. Shure's Chad Wiggins is here with us to talk about the facts and fiction of this legendary mic. Chad, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Chris. Now, once in a while you hear someone say that the SM58 uses old technology. What's really the story there? Well, the SM58 is based on technology from the 30s that Shure pioneered with the original Unidyne cartridge. And every other dynamic microphone, unidirectional dynamic microphone today is based upon that technology. When we talk about the technology inside the microphone, what exactly are we talking about? Well, the technology is pretty simple. It's a, a diaphragm with a coil that's attached to it. And that coil is suspended in a magnetic gap that's produced by a magnet and a pole piece. And as sound pressure strikes the diaphragm, it moves up and down. And the coil moves in that magnetic gap, and it induces a voltage. So every dynamic microphone is based upon that operating principle. Now, in, with the Unidyne in the 30s, Schur introduced um, some ports on, that allowed the sound to strike the rear of the diaphragm. And that was an innovation at the time that enabled Schur to produce a unidirectional, a cardioid, microphone with a single element. Previous to that, you needed to use two elements and then add and subtract the outputs in order to get a directional microphone. If the Unidyne established the basics of how a directional microphone works, what did the SM58 add to the mix when it came to the market? Well, a dynamic microphone, you know, for it to work, part of it has to move, right? The, di the uh, diaphragm and the coil need to move. So if the microphone is, if there's any mechanical stimulus that's introduced to that microphone system, the diaphragm's going to move and it's going to create some sound. So you've heard handling noise, you've heard rubbing, you've heard rumble come up the stand and then be transmitted through the microphone. In the 60s, sure solved that with the introduction of the pneumatic shock mount which is a very sophisticated system that hasn't been duplicated by any other competitor to this point. So really though, all these other mics, they might be trying to tweak something a little bit one way or the other, but they're still using that same basic core design that, it's all, that Shure pioneered. That's exactly right. It's all based on Shure's dynamic designs. But like I said, none of them have mastered the pneumatic shock mount at this point in time. The SM58 has been around a long time. Has the design and the process we used to make it evolved during that time? It's evolved quite dramatically since it was introduced in the 60s. Um, material science has come a long way, manufacturing uh, processes, production testing fixtures, and all that sort of thing has, has come a long way. And as the SM58 is an extremely important part of Sure, we've taken every advantage of all those technology innovations and applied those to the manufacturing process, and in some cases the design of the SM58. So the SM58 uses revolutionary design coupled with today's technology to deliver outstanding vocal microphone performance. For more information about SM58 facts and fiction, watch the other videos in this series.